I'm John Delaney and you're watching Irish Football Fan TV. Hello and welcome back to Irish Football Fan TV. This is our player ratings show. I'm just here with my dog Rosie. And uh, she's the lawyer because Ireland fucking won, aren't you? Anyway, um, I'll go to the players one by one and discuss their player ratings after that magnificent result in Cardiff. So uh, I'm going to give start off with Darren Randolph and I'm always defending him and I'm always uh, giving him props and I'm going to give him an 8 for tonight. I thought he made some very good saves. Um, his hand was quite well, bar one one little fumble but other than that I thought he was very good tonight so um, still probably argue with me about that but like who cares um, moving on uh, left left back I thought I thought Ward was, was solid believe it or not um, I think I think he's, he's improved a lot, an awful lot under Sean Deutsch I believe you know I know Steve's always giving it out of him with Sorry, Steve, to be kind of trying under the bus here, but you're always giving out about uh, Ward being, you know, not that great and this, that, and the other. But you know, I feel like he has improved, and he, he, he you know, he did, he did a good job tonight. Duffy was absolutely outstanding. Uh, I give him a, a solid nine out of ten. I thought every single bo every single header that came in the box, every time he committed to a challenge. Um, he won the ball, or he made he made a deflection that took the ball away from goal. He was fantastic. He did his job. Um, we were a bit worried about him going into the game, just in terms of could, could he keep his comp concentration. He did. You know, um, as as long as he can keep his concentration like that, he, he will go on to be a good defender. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Richard Dunn in his early days. But uh, then moving on to Clark, I didn't think he was great, but he still did a solid job. So I'd give Clark. A six and a half out of ten, pushing it a seven. You know, uh, keep me clean sheet in that. I'll give him. A, I'll give him a seven just for that. Uh, Rosie's disagreeing with me here. My dog, she's give me the nudge. But um, then moving on to right back, Cyrus Christie, suspect defending again. You know, uh, I mean, I'll take it because because we won tonight. But I give him a six out of ten. I didn't think he had his best game. I don't think he had. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's his best game at all. But, you know, look, it is what it is. But he he needs to, to up his game. Like he can't be coming out and saying, Oh, well, as soon as Seamus Coleman comes back, he has the spot. You should be you should be going out there trying to, you know, take a spot and saying, you know, this is my spot to, to own and I don't know, we all know Seamus Coleman's a far better player, he's the captain. But you know, it doesn't really matter if you're in there to play, you're in there to be the best that you can be. Uh, so six out of ten for him. David Moyla, solid eight, eight and a half out of ten. I thought he was brilliant uh, in everything he did tonight. His tackling, he it was a true captain's performance by him. I I believe anyway. Uh, he, others may disagree, but I thought Moyla was fantastic in everything he did. Uh, Hendrick and Arthur together. I'm gonna give them a. <sighs> Hendrick because of the goal. I'm gonna give him a seven. I thought he was poor. Before, other than that. Uh, can't fault his effort. He followed the ball the whole way to the touchline. You know, whipped in the ball. Arthur was very clever with the the dummy, and obviously James McLean getting on the score sheet. So uh, I'm gonna go for a seven for the two lads in midfield. I thought Arthur probably could have been a little bit better. Um, Hendrick did did his part when he need when needed to be. You know, it was it was an ugly scruffy affair, but it is what it is. Uh, Brady didn't have his best game either. I'm gonna have to give him a six out of ten. Um, not a lot out of Robbie to be honest his, his, his set pieces weren't that good uh, he didn't do an awful lot to be honest with you I, I, I expected more from him generally he's a big game player but you know maybe you know in, this, in the playoffs he'll, he'll come good uh, moving over to James McLean you know because of the goal he gives it the heart he's a bit idiotic at times but at the same time he gives, he gives it all that he's passionate you know can't fault, you can't fault his passion um, I do believe that he he portrays the or like you can see how much it means to him putting on the the Irish shirt and and wearing the Ireland badge on, on his chest. You know he's he's gone out. He's done the business for us tonight and absolutely fair play to him. As as I said to the lads, in each sleep foot you repeat. You know James McLean's been outstanding this campaign with his goal scoring and stuff like that. And he stepped his game up. Uh, and then and then moving up top to Murphy. I mean, I thought he did the best he could do. 
he wasn't he, he was clutching his straws and he didn't have enough to aim at the ball was coming up to him if he wasn't holding on to it he had no one really to give it to him because everyone was in our own half so it was just him up up against Ashley Williams and James Chester so you know not a lot really to talk about in terms of Daryl Murphy I thought maybe a striker could have came on instead of him but uh, Glenn Whelan came on for whatever eight fucking minutes or something like that you know he's done alright seven out of ten I give him just to be nice because we won but um Kevin Long, I'm not even gonna give him a rating because he didn't stay on the pitch that long. But um, let me let me know what you guys think. Uh, what would be your player ratings and uh, what you thought about the game? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks very much for watching Irish Football Fan TV. Uh, Rosie, okay there? Rosie's getting a bit impatient, but thank you very much for watching Irish Football Fan TV. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, we got. Over a thousand followers on Instagram today, which we're very proud of. We are 25 likes away from being 2,000 on Facebook. And on Twitter, we reached 700 followers. So it's a great week all round. Uh, don't forget to check out our Ireland versus Wales final match reaction, which should be up in the next couple of days. Okay, thanks very much for watching Irish Football Fan TV. Come on, you fucking boys in green. Yes! <laughs>